everybody uh, all across the country, I think, is thinking about what's going on in Cedar Rapids and all throughout Iowa and parts of Wisconsin. Uh, we, are, we are praying for them. We're thinking about them. We're going to make sure that they get the resources that they need as soon as possible. Uh, you know, I've, uh, I was in communication with Governor Doyle. I was up in Wisconsin a couple of days ago. I've called uh, Governor Culver in Iowa. Uh, I'm glad to see that the National Guard is here, but what we really need right now are more volunteers over the next couple of days. So if people have just a couple hours and they can get to Quincy or Quad Cities or any of the areas along the river, uh, taking that time out to just bag some sand, help to set up uh, and fortify some of the barriers that need to be put in place uh, would be hugely helpful. Uh, and what we've done is we put out a, an email alert to all of our supporters. And my understanding is a few of them have already showed up and we're hoping that uh, more do over the next couple of days because my understanding is that uh, we're looking at uh, the river cresting on Tuesday uh, or early Wednesday. Wednesday. And that gives us at least a few more days to strengthen the levees and set up barriers. <laughs> How are you? Good. The, uh, I, I, I need to go to your church. Good to see you. State Senate, your wonderful representative, yes, I did. that all of you know how uh, inspired we are by the fact that you guys are out here today. Because this is an example of America at its best. When people come together from all walks of life, every age, every background, pitching in together to deal with challenges. Uh, and that's what all of you have shown. And there is no problem we can't solve when we work together. So to see all of you here today, 